and speak about the topic the topic which i selected is top 10 healthy skin tips for face beautiful face and of course some points and uh, tips about the Demodex mite treatment. I'm going to start the room shortly, but first I wanted this time to start with the Instagram. We are going to be live on 12 platforms, uh, which we are right now live except Clubhouse, which have not started yet, which I'm going to start it shortly. So we are right now live on Instagram. Hey everyone on Instagram and Twitter. Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, a couple of more platforms, which even I don't remember the names because I use the um, application. The name is studio.restream.io, which helps me to integrate a couple of our social media accounts together. So uh, I'm live right now on 12 platforms. All right, I'm going to start the room right now. And let me see, let me see if the filter is available. Yes, we have the filter. I install the filter. All right, that's beautiful because then I can show you everything here. So now you can see the room, which I'm going to start shortly, is top 10 healthy skin tips for face Demodex mites and Demodex mite treatment. Hi, I'm Er Hussein. How are you? All right, I'm going to start the room right now. Let's click on the start the room. As you see, it's going to start now. I've just started. All right. So um, I'm going to actually add the topic. You know, when you start the room in, in Clubhouse, the first thing you can add topics, which now I'm going to add some topics like skincare. I'm selecting some of the topics that will be helpful. And uh, like dermatology, their dermatology, and maybe something else. Let's say um, health, health. So I can select see three keywords. And then you see I selected, then I can simply save it. Look at that. Easy. So I selected three topics, skincare, dermatology, and health. And then, uh, da, 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 or there is a beauty. I can select beauty instead of health. Probably that's better. Let me select beauty. All right. So I change it. You can see skincare, dermatology, and beauty. I save it now. All right. I'm still alone. <laughs> Instead of home alone, I can say room alone. I'm alone in the room. All right. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to uh, invite some people to join. Okay. Because um, when we want to start the room, it's good to join. Uh, invite people to join in. Say, I can say share it on Clubhouse. Again, on Clubhouse. The first option we can just share on Clubhouse. That's a one thing. Then, you know, it gives you the option to share it on other platforms. For example, now I can share it on Twitter or any any places which I like to share. So in this way, more people can find it. All right. So that's how it works. Hey, all right. And then after that, I, I'm going to ping and invite people to join in. So because now we are live on 12 platforms. So let me, I'll type here for some friends. Okay, so please join in. Started. All right. Okay. So then I can click the copy and then um, share on Clubhouse. And then I can put some topics here, like, for example, even emojis. You can put some emojis and invite people, you know, like that. Okay, so that's the first thing I've done. Or maybe maybe I can also click on that share button. You can see when you click on the share. Let me show you here. All right. Then you can see share on Clubhouse. I click share on Clubhouse. Then I can say, all right, come in. And uh, share. So I can add some emojis or whatever to invite people. Okay, so that's what I've done. Okay, so then I uh, can click on the other option, share by other platforms, other applications, like I can share it by Twitter, for example. You can see I can share it by Twitter and let the people join in. 
Okay, then uh, one more thing that I can do is just I can um, leave a, um, actually in the chat room in the Clubhouse, I can just uh, say something. So it, everything we do in Clubhouse can help to boost and optimize it. So optimize the visibility so more people can see it. All right, let me just click on that one. All right. Yes, we have Dr. Samin. Welcome. Let me invite you. Yes. Hi, Dr. Hadi. How are you? Welcome to the stage. Let me make you a moderator. All right, Dr. Samin, welcome. Hey, doc Dr. Samin, how are you? Welcome to the stage. Let me make you moderator. I can see uh, Mr. Omayun. Omayun is also here. Invite him to the stage. All right, beautiful. So now we are live on 12 platforms, and I'm very happy that some of my friends join in, Dr. Ahadi, Dr. Samin, and of course on the club on the other platforms like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn. Oh, Networker. Networker is also here. Let me invite her to the stage. Uh, I can see some lovely people also there. Hey, Networker, how are you? Long time no see. How are you doing? <laughs> Good, good, good. I'm doing. I'm. I'm. I'm doing a trouble calling today. How about that? <laughs> I haven't seen you for a while. Yeah, long time no see. <laughs> Thank I you. Have, I have notifications on, and I, I saw there's a topic. I said I've got to hop in here. So great to see that you are running the room. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. We need to share this. Yeah, definitely. Sorry, we need to share. We need to share this room. Yeah, thank you so much. Yes, please. Actually, right now, Network and Dr. Ahadi and Dr. Samin, right now I'm live on 12 platforms because, you know, I wanted to invite uh, lots of followers we have on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn to, uh, you know, know more about the Clubhouse. I was just um, trying to show the Clubhouse to the other people right now that are watching me because now we are live on 12 platforms. Even any of you speak, your voice can be broadcasted on more than 12 platforms right now, uh, including Instagram. Thank you so much again, Networker, for joining in. Actually, uh, it was a couple of weeks. We didn't have a chance to run the room and speak about the Demodex mites. And uh, now I'm happy that one more time we have this great opportunity to speak. And the replace is on, so many people may come later. And in the future also, they can find their room and they probably learn about something that they have never heard about that or they, they were not aware that Demodex mites can be uh, responsible for many different skin complications. Anyway, uh, because now uh, we have um, some people on Instagram and Twitter, I will quickly uh, explain to them that what's going on. We are right now live on 12 platforms. So those that they are watching me on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, I want to tell you that today we have a room and the topic of the room, let me show you in front of the camera, is top 10 healthy skin tips for face. Plus, we want to discuss about Demodex mites and Demodex mite treatment. And uh, now we are going to start speaking about that. But before that, I want to ask everyone in Clubhouse to help ping, invite, Invite people and share it. Sharing is caring. So please share the link of the room to your uh, with other. You know there are lots of things you can do to share it. The first thing and the easiest one is just share it on Clubhouse so the people that are inside the Clubhouse they can find their room. Oh, I can see David is here. David, welcome. Let me invite you to the stage. Uh, yeah. All right. So the first thing that we are gonna do. Welcome on board. David. All right. So the first thing we are going to do is just to click that share button. Is the square with the arrow on the top? And the first one is share via applications like other social accounts like Twitter, Facebook, message, uh, messages. So you can just send the link, link of the room via other applications. The the other one is invite people by pinging, which is the best one I think because those that they are active right now on Clubhouse they can receive the notifications can join us, and the last but not least is share on Clubhouse, which I explained. If you click on that one, even without mentioning anything, it still is very helpful because automatically you are sharing, and more people can find their room in the hallway. Plus, it's good for your own personal branding as well because your picture, your name comes close to the uh, uh, share and many people will uh, find you and you can in this way you can recommend and invite your friends to join in 
All right, so because the topic is about the top 10 healthy skin tips for face and probably you may be interested in knowing more about those things. And the second part is about Demodex My Treatment. But before that, I want to um, actually ask those that are on the stage if they want to say anything, introduce themselves or before we officially start the conversation about the topic, feel free to flash your mic, introduce yourself. And I will also uh, turn my phone in front of the camera so your bio will be displayed uh, on other platforms, including Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. So that's how I want to uh, practice using a couple of pl platforms simultaneously. All right, let's start with Dr. Ahadi. Dr. Ahadi is here. He has a PhD of medic medical parasitology assistant professor at university and he's here and because the demodex is a kind of parasite living under the skin i think he's he's a knowledgeable person here right now we have also dr samin i'm not sure if she's um, uh, possible for her to speak we have networker lovely networker you can just you know guess from her beautiful name that she's such a wonderful person that she you know help people as, as you check her bio, let's read her bio, Networker's bio, because that's really interesting. She mentioned we build bridges, bridges, not barriers. Wonderful. And as, as you can guess from her name, she's the master in networking. And we have David, which is one of our Demodex Care Consultants that uh, she, she helps. Uh, sorry, David can help people that they suffer from skin um, uh, complications related to high population density of demodex mice, those that they suffer from demodex infestation. All right, let's start with Dr. Ahadi. Dr. Ahadi, very welcome to the stage. Um, if you can speak, please flash your mic and I'll pass the mic to you. If you can introduce yourself and if you want to speak about the demodex. Yes, Dr. Ahadi is available and I will turn my phone in front of the camera so uh, many people can listen to you from all other platforms as well. Dr. Ahadi, thank you so much and mic is yours. Hi, everyone, and uh, dear Sayyid Bebahani, uh, thank you so much for inviting me to this uh, very valuable and uh, um, important uh, session. I'm uh, very happy to be here, and thank you uh, to give me opportunity to introduce myself for uh, our friends. As you uh, uh, declared, I'm Mohamed uh, Ariadi, PhD in parasitology, and I'm an assistant professor at the university. Actually, I'm uh, active in the um, department, department of Biology in Erdbeil University in Iran. Uh, and um, uh, my uh, very interesting um, uh, fields of um, sciences, uh, parasites, parasitology, uh, actually parasites that infect human and uh, cause uh, important uh, diseases and infections in human. Uh, I have some uh, published uh, books about microbiology and um, uh, genetics uh, and also some uh, paper that published in ISA journals and also I attended uh, several, I've attended several international scientific congresses and conferences throughout the world in many countries, uh, especially in Australia and uh, other countries, important, uh, famous countries of the world. Um, uh, I studied about demodex follicularum, demodex brevis that are important ectoparasites that infestate and contaminate the skin of uh, human and uh, can lead to uh, skin lesions. In next time, I will uh, uh, I will um, tell more about the uh, demodex ectoparasite. Thank you for your uh, giving time to me to speak. Thank you. Wow, that was wonderful. Thank you so much, Dr. Harry. Thank you for your share. Definitely, I guess this room is the right place for you because we, uh, I, we, I mean, right place for all of us. Oh, I can see networkers on Instagram as well. So uh, thank you very much for your share, Dr. Ahadi. I really appreciate you. Thank you for being with us. 
All right, let's go with the other uh, lovely people on the stage. Moderators, if any of you want to share, want to speak, please go ahead and just flash your mic if you are ready, if you want to introduce yourself or if you have any comments or thoughts about the topic, more than welcome and feel free to flash your mic and talk about the topic. I will also share the link of the, our link tree shortly. Yes, Networker, thank you again for being here. Stage is yours. Go ahead, please. Good afternoon. I'm joining you from Germany. I am South African and I am very much part of the African diaspora in Europe and the UN and uh, I wanted to say the UN uh, in Europe and in Germany. I am very happy to be part of this room because the topic really struck me. Uh, I've always had problems with my skin because of my mixed genes that I have. And you know, like when you have, you, you're not black, you're not white, you're in between this little mix, um, I, 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 I call it this cappuccino people, you know, like me. We normally, I don't know, maybe uh, you as doctors who know a little bit more about uh, skin problems and why it is, Maybe you can also ask, answer a few questions uh, that I have for you today as well. And to those listeners who are listening in from outside Clubhouse, you are missing out on an amazing app. I have met Sahid in the very beginning stages of my Clubhouse journey. And we've been on different stages on Clubhouse, sharing thoughts, knowledge, and the reason why I hop into rooms where Said is, I know that there is going to be value where he is. So if you are in the clubhouse room uh, right now, uh, you should share this room because this is an amazing topic. It's a topic that you don't find in many rooms around clubhouse as uh, something that you invest in yourself, a little bit of good knowledge that you can take with you after this room has closed and i'm honored to be here so thank you Syed and dr Ahadi and dr sim samin and uh, david and the rest who has joined the room back to you Syed. thank you for hosting all of us wow thank you very much networker i really appreciate you thank you for your kind words Thank you for being with us. Definitely, we are here to answer any question that related to the topic or about the skin. Oh, I can see Beverly is also here. Wow, wonderful. Beverly is one of the best uh, uh, co-moderators we have on another club. The name is Sustainability Leadership. And I know that she's also in the same industry of a skincare. Uh, very welcome, uh, Beverly. How are you? Thank you for joining us. If you can speak, please just go ahead and we, we are happy here to hear you after lovely networker. All right. If and yes, yes, go ahead, Beverly. Thank you for being here. Yes, I am here. I am just on a call, but I will um come back and um speak in the room. Thank you so much. Sure, no problem, no problem. Feel free anytime you want to speak, that's fine. All right, let's again appreciate networker. Thank you so much, networker, for your kind words, for compliment your compliment, and I really appreciate you. And I want everyone, even if you come in future and you just uh, listen to the replays, please remember to follow Networker and all the moderators here. As I said, she's an amazing person and I really uh, like her. Thank you so much again, Networker. All right, so let's uh, go and, uh, and regarding Beverly, as I said, because she's right now busy, please check out her bio. Beverly is very nice person. As I said, she's one of the best uh, moderators we have on another club. The name of the club is Sustainability Leadership. And uh, she is also a very knowledgeable person. So I advise you to follow Beverly as well. And as far as I know, she's also uh, active in the same industry. So, all right, let's come back to the stage before we start uh, uh, start topic, talking about the topic. And of course, as a networker also encouraged you, please share the room, click that uh, share button and try to invite, uh, not try, do, do it. <laughs> invite people, ping them and let them join in. 
and because uh, we are not going to have uh, a long um, room it probably will take around maybe less than one hour so it's good to invite them to join in and if they want to share or they have some questions that's the right time with the experts on the stage all right anyone else on the stage want to share or want to speak please flash your mic let me see david david if you are available it's good if you want to introduce yourself before we start the room David, are you? Yes, David, go ahead. Please introduce yourself if you want to share anything that will be perfect before we officially start the room. Go ahead, please. Mike is yours. Yeah, hi, everybody. Uh, I hope everybody is fine. Uh, sorry, because uh, I've got a cold and uh, my voice is somehow isn't it normal. So if you have any questions, uh or any guidance regarding the demodex i uh, i am at your service so you can ask me in the back channel and i'm trying to help you thank you wow wonderful thank you so much david yes david is one of our demodex care consultants in onjex so uh, please uh, follow david as well you can just text him and uh, DM him. If you have any questions regarding the Demodex treatment and the products we have, so feel free to be in touch with David, with me, and of course, Dr. Ahadi, who is a specialist with PhD in this industry, Beverly in skincare, Dr. Samin, and Networker also. And also, those that they are right now watching me on Instagram, if you have any question regarding the topic, let me read the topic for you, because you are not, you are not right now you are not in the clubhouse the topic is top 10 healthy skin tips for face plus demodex mites treatment if you don't know demodex or you have any questions regarding the mites you can also uh, type your questions of course the chat room is also available if anyone wants to actually share or ask any question they can also use the chat room as well all right let's come back again to dr ahadi and um, we are very happy that he's here and it's our honor. So, Dr. Hadi, if you want to have some short uh, description about Demodex, that will be fine. And I really like it because uh, I, I want more people to learn and to listen from you as the expert in this industry. And of course, then I will also uh, have some comments and I, I can speak. And definitely after that, we will pass the mic to Networker to see. She said she has some questions. And of course, we are here to respond. So, Dr. Hadi, if it's possible for you and you can speak and talk a little bit about Demodex and introduce that these nasty mites, that will be perfect. Yes, mic is yours. Uh, definitely, yes. It's amazing for me to speak here. And I hope uh, my um, talk will be useful for everyone. Um, uh, I'm uh, prefer to speak about Demodex first. Uh, I uh, uh, prefer to tell you that we parasitologists uh, usually divide parasites into uh, groups, uh, endoparasites and ectoparasites. Actually, uh, Demodex is, uh, uh, is an uh, ectoparasite that inhabits in, uh, skin uh, and can lead to uh, several skin lesions. Um, uh, I uh, I think it is better uh, first I introduce uh, Demodex uh, as a f uh, in uh, classification. Um, Demodex uh, belongs to uh, Arthropodophyllum and uh, it's um, classified in uh, a class nine, uh, name is uh, Arachnida and order. Uh, that name is order is Acarina, and finally the family in the in the um, um, phylum of um, phylum of uh, Arthropoda that Demodex uh, located there is named uh, Demodex. Anyway, Demodex uh, is, is uh, an important uh, Arthro uh, Arthropoda and also ectoparasites. Uh, also, uh, actually, we have several demodex, but uh, only uh, there are uh, the only two mites, two demodex that affect the human: uh, demodex uh, folliculorum and demodex brevis. Uh, 
uh, these uh, very small uh, parasites, uh, uh, the size of these uh, very small parasites is about uh, 0 0.03 uh, millimeter to uh, 0 0.4 millimeter, 3 tenths to 4 tenths millimeter. And we only uh, observe uh, and uh, and uh, so uh, and um, uh, diagnose them by microscope. And uh, so uh, we cannot uh, we cannot observe them without uh, microscope. Uh, I can say that Demodex uh, folliculorum and Demodex um, uh, Demodex brevis are very prevalent throughout the world and many people uh, con uh, were uh, contaminated um, uh, by this um, uh, ectoparasite but uh, perhaps sometimes we have no signs and symptoms in the skin and we so and we think that we are not uh, infected we are not contaminated by this demodex but uh, it is not uh, right it is it, actually uh, demodex uh, are very uh, very prevalent and uh, in many uh, reports we uh, we uh, studied as uh, people are um, contaminated by this uh, ectoparasite. Um, when uh, the demodex uh, density and uh, uh, concentration in the skin uh, um, go to be um, um, high, uh, at this time the signs and symptoms uh, in the skins will be clear and there are very important um lesions in the skin that can be come from this ectoparasite infestation uh, i think we will speak in this uh, in this uh, um, session uh, more uh, time about more about the uh, lesion of um, uh, skin lesions uh, of um, uh, ecto uh, demodex uh, I can see uh, about the morphology and the appearance of Demodex. Demodex polycolorum, it's better that I mention that Demodex polycolorum uh, uh, inhabit, prefer to inhabit and live in the uh, uh, follicles of uh, hair, hair. And, uh, um, and Demodex brevis uh, prefer to inhabit and live in uh, sebacea sebaceous glands uh, in the skin um, because the nutrients the um, necessary foods for uh, nourishment of these uh, ectoparasites are uh, in uh, rich in uh, the this uh, uh, environment of the skin anyway um, demodex uh, is uh, in uh, as um, uh, if I can, if I speak about the morphology and appearance of the demodex, I can say demodex um, um, is a very close cylindrical um, uh, form. Uh, they have a, a very clear mouth that we call it a capitolum, and uh, there are. Uh, four pairs of legs, very short, uh, four pairs of legs, and um, the stomach that is like uh, worms. Uh, this is the uh, short uh, de description of the morphology of Demodex, and uh, it is uh, it is um, difficult to diagnose uh, the contamination and infestation of. Demodex because um, demotex uh, are uh, demotex mites are uh, semi-transparent and uh, so when we uh, uh, decide to uh, uh, observe and uh, detect uh, these mites in the micro by the micro microscopes, uh, it is not very uh, easy uh, and uh, we try to have some. 
uh, techniques. Uh, we use some techniques for uh, diagnosis. Uh, thank you, uh, dear uh, Sagir Begani, that give me opportunity to speak about uh, the morphology and classification of demotics. In uh, next time, I will uh, I can speak about the other aspects of demotics. Thank you. Wow! Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Ahadi. Thank you for your great share for introducing. Uh, yourself and then introducing the Demodex Mic to all the lovely people here on Clubhouse as well as those that they are watching me right now from other platforms like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn. And that's why I'm very happy and excited because right now we are live on 12 platforms. All right, I can see Slajan is also here. Slajan, welcome on the stage and thank you for joining us and all other speakers and uh, uh, audience, listeners, thank you so much for being with us on Clubhouse and also thank you all the people that they are right now on other platforms. All right, everyone, actually, I shared the link of our link tree just in case if you want to uh, actually uh, join in uh, through other platforms, you can just click the link tree in Clubhouse and uh, those that they are watching me on Instagram or other platforms, you can just uh, go to Linktree and find Unjex, U-N-G-E-X, Linktree, Unjex. And then if you go to the link, you can see there are some actually links we shared. One of them, the first one is Demodex My Test, which I will uh, speak about that, that how you can take the test because there are two methods to estimate the population density of skin mites on your body, on your face, on your skin, which uh, Dr. Ahadi said, it's not easy, but there are two methods. One is to take the test by a microscope, microscopic test. And the other one is a questionnaire, is a quiz that you can take the test online. So if you click on the link, which I shared it on the Clubhouse, the link tree, if you are in Clubhouse, or if you are right now watching me through other applications, other social media like Instagram, you can just go to Linktree, then search Unjex, U-N-G-E-X, and you can find all the links we have. The second one is Instagram, if you are in Clubhouse. If you click that, you can just go to your Instagram application and you can watch me right now because we are live right now on 12 platforms, including Instagram, YouTube. And then you can find some of the clubs we have in Clubhouse that right now we are in Unjex, health hub so if you are just one second if you are right now in clubhouse i recommend you to click that greenhouse on the very top and be sure to become a member of this club onjex health hub let's click on that everyone together when you click on that you can see we have more than 3.1k more than 3100 members in onjex health hub and uh, of course you can join and become a member and then invite your friends, invite people to become members of this wonderful club. And um, of course, uh, as networkers said and other lovely uh, co-moderators always advise, please invite your friends, ping them, let them join in. And if they have any questions, we have actually we got Dr. Ahadi right now here. And uh, that's excellent because we have right, it's, it's like a university now. We have experts that they can help you if you have questions regarding Demodex or if it's related to Demodex infestation, we are here to answer you. All right, because we have all around another half an hour to continue on Instagram. Instagram, we cannot uh, keep being live on Instagram more than one hour and we want to save and record. So let's quickly speak about the topic. But before that, if anyone any one of you on the stage want to share or you have any questions regarding the topic, feel free to flash your mic anytime. If not, I want to just talk a little bit about the topic. But let me wait for a few seconds. I wait for three seconds. Yes, Slajan, how are you? Mic is yours. Go ahead, please. Yes, Fred, I'm really pleased to be invited and as well to be moderator. Uh, so what I would like to mention is that you're exceptional in the terms that you're really structuring uh, something that is going to happen in the near future. So, uh, and uh, I see that, and I would like just to applause you because it's exactly what uh, is expanding the reach and as well understanding about different topics. At the same time, you have a special guest that are able to just answer to all questions from the audience. I'm yielding the mic to you. 
Thank you very much, Sledgen. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your kind words. I also appreciate you for being here with us. You are absolutely right. You know, we are talking here in Clubhouse about something that the people have never ever heard about that, most people. So the majority of the people are not aware that they, they are hosts of the nasty parasites. They live under their skin. As Dr. Ahadi said, we have two types of demodex mites for humans. Demodex folklorum, that they live uh, under the hair follicle. And demodex brevis, that they live uh, in sebaceous glands. And when the population density of these mites increases, they may cause lots of skin issues. And they are related, actually, to many different skin complications. So let me tell you some of the symptoms, like acne, rosacea, blepharitis, seborrheic dermatitis, some types of skin itchiness, aging skin, and some types of hair loss, hair thinning. So you can see our beauty, our uh, beauty, our uh, the, uh, healthy skin somehow linked to this, uh, actually, this topic. So we need to learn. Let me use a metaphor, which I always use in any rooms, any exhibitions, any uh, actually different events, seminars. I try to uh, actually simplify the concept to let the people visualize it easier. So let's, let's use this metaphor. I use a metaphor of garden. Just imagine today we are not speaking about the skin. Just imagine that we are talking about garden. We are talking about your beautiful flowers. And one day you see that your flowers are not so healthy. Maybe your flowers, flowers are dying, they're fading. They're not as fresh and beautiful as before. So definitely you will check with your gardener or yourself to be sure that the fertilizer is okay. You have given them enough water. The soil is fine. That the sun, sunlight is okay. So th these are the facts that definitely true. However, if you neglect the role of the pest box in your garden, it means that if your garden, your flowers infested with the uh, huge number of uh, pests like box, then you can see that you are helpless. Your gardener is helpless because you cannot kill the pest by giving them the fertilizer, right? It's very simple. Let me repeat again. Just imagine, just visualize. We are right now speaking about your garden, about the flowers. And then you see the flowers dying and you ask many different gardeners, they come and try to help with fertilizers, with changing the soil or whatever they can. They can help. However, you see, okay, I've done everything, but my flowers are not good as before. Why? Because maybe you have neglected the, the uh, population density of the bogs and pests, parasites in your garden, right? So if we come back to the skin and if we imagine that we, we are talking about the soil and now we want to say the soil of the garden is something like uh, your, your skin is something like the soil in the garden. And then demodex mites under your skin uh, so, there are something like the pests in your garden, right? So with this metaphor, I wanted to help myself to express myself and let you understand and visualize it. So if we do not consider this one, if we do not pay enough attention, if we neglect the role of demodex mites, we may not solve some of our skin issues. As I said, like rosacea, blepharitis, seborrheic dermatitis, and it's not only limited to that, many different skin complications can be related to high population density of skin mites, demodex mites, which there are some of them which I told you. So that's that's a miracle. That's, that's something that can totally be a game changer in this industry. If you are active in beauty industry, skincare industry, dermatology, this is something that you should never, ever ignore it. All right. So what you can do now. Oh, I can see Asan Dait is also there. Hi, everyone. So what you should do now, you should understand that although those things which I said, they are correct as as for garden. Definitely, you need to have the gardener with fertilizer, with the enough water, with light. You cannot avoid them. Definitely. But that's not enough if you ignore the role of the pest. Right. So that's why in that case, if your garden is infested, you contact the pest control company to come to help 
eliminate and kill the parasites, the pests, bugs in your garden. So when we talk about the scheme, that's the role of our company. So let me quickly introduce my company and myself for those that may have not been uh, in, in touch with me or they don't know well. Uh, I, my name is Said. I'm the managing director and uh, CEO of Anjex Australia in Australia. And uh, we are the manufacturer uh, of the anti-demetic smite skincare products. And we achieved the best invention award in 2012. Let me show it in front of the camera for those that they watch me through other platforms like Instagram or Twitter. So we achieved the best invention award in 2012 for the invention of anti-demetic smite solution. So now let's come back to the topic. When we are talking about the uh, healthy skin, there are lots of things we need to consider. But one of the things which we should also remember is that our skin can be the house. Your body, your skin can be uh, the place for Demodex mice to live, to mate, and their population can dramatically increase and then they may cause lots of skin issues all right so i try to use this metaphor to let you know and that's that's very important because uh, most people are not aware of that even many doctors paid not did not pay enough attention so that's a fact that has been neglected and that's one of our responsibility in Anjex australia to help people to increase their knowledge to educate them to raise the awareness. And that's why I use uh, two platforms right now. And I try to announce it and invite the experts like Dr. Ahadi and uh, many other experts to come and help to transfer this uh, message to the people that they should know. If they don't consider that one, they may not be able to have a permanent and stable uh, solution for their skin complications. All right, so that was a quick uh, introduction about uh, our company. And regarding Demodex Smite, as Dr. Uh, Ahadi uh, also said, we have two types of Demodex Smites living under human's skin. One is Demodex Folliculorum, lives under hair follicle. Of course, when we say live, it doesn't mean that they just, uh, they are only inside the hair follicle. No, th their houses are there but they come on the top of the skin at night when we are sleeping because they try they usually avoid the light and they are most active at night and they come on the surface of the skin they walk around the skin because they have eight legs and they can walk around the skin and they they may they mate and come back to their houses for demodex folliculorum their houses are hair follicles and for demodex brevis sebaceous glands and they lay eggs and after some time, very short period of time, their legs will hatch and we have babies, <laughs> larves, and then babies with eight legs. And when they become adult, they will have eight legs. So imagine then, imagine if you don't take care of that, if you don't treat them, their population density can increase dramatically and you may have millions of mites, millions of skin mites on your skin and you don't know about them. And one day you say, oh, my skin is not fresh enough, or I may have some kind of skin complications like redness, rosacea, seborrheic dermatitis, itchiness, hair loss, dandruff, and etc. So what, when I'm talking about the symptom, I don't mean that they are the only responsible factors for these issues, but they, uh, they are one of the main reasons that have been neglected. So we need to consider that and we need to actually learn about them we need to know more about them about their behavior what they like what they dislike and how we can actually fight with them without any side effect for our own skin okay let me adjust uh, adjust the camera of youtube huh, all right okay i fix it so and then when we learn about them we know them and uh, you know th that's why knowledge is uh, really helpful and good for yourself but knowledge is power when you put into action right so how to put into action is to learn how to fight with them and start uh, treating them from today not tomorrow so if you want to have a beautiful skin if if even if right now you have a good skin healthy skin so uh, prevention is better than cure so even now you can just start learning more about demodex mites and then when you learn more about them, you can know 
how to fight back, how to treat them, how to eliminate them. And that's that's uh, our responsibility and our mission to be here right now to speak about them. All right. So uh, I, I just said about the Demetrix Mite a few things that there are parasites living under the skin. These are the things we said. And uh, there is a question they mentioned where are mites found? So, of course, we explained about they are living under hair follicles and sebaceous glands. There are two types of skin mites, but it's not limited to humans. Dogs, they have their own Demetrix, and their name is Demetrix canis. Or cats, they have Demetrix canis, uh, catties. So it means that uh, most uh, mammals, they have their own Demetrix mites. But uh, it's very funny that if you go and uh, speak with the vets, you can see they are aware of that, and it's more than 40 years. If someone has a dog, and uh, has uh, their dogs have uh, some kind of skin complications and they refer them to vets, one of the main things they consider and they test is Demetrix infestation. But when we come to dermatologists and um, uh, for skin care, uh, we can see most, m most of them unfortunately neglected the role of the uh, Demetrix infestation. And that's one of our mission. But we are lucky that these days, and we are very happy to be honest, that within the past 10 years, we had lots of good dermatologists, ophthalmologists, they started actually working on our products and they're recommending our solution and they could receive a great result with the happiness and uh, because you know the people they suffered from rosacea like within the past 10 years or 20 years without any solution they spent so much money and time and energy to um, actually cure their rosacea or blepharitis or something like that and they couldn't have a permanent solution now they could resolve it because when you eliminate them with mites and you actually um, um, eradicate them then you are ready to go to the next stage and uh, cure your skin issues related to the high population density of mites all right so um uh, the next question I, I have here some questions frequently asked question how do i know if i have mites that's a good question so um in order to know that if you are a host for them as i said before there are two methods one is to do the microscopic test the other one is to take the quiz so if you are right now in clubhouse you can just simply click on the link which i pinned it on the top and then the second one you can um, find uh, the first one sorry go to link and the first one you can find the link which is demodex my test it's free and within a few minutes within a couple of minutes after answering those questions you will uh, get the result because the population density of mites relay is related to your lifestyle to uh, your mental health to your diet to all these things so it's very uh, reliable even is more accurate there um, microscopic test so that's another question some people they ask which one is more reliable and which one is more accurate i want to tell you based on all the observations we had and based on all the research we had in our own r d team definitely the quiz the online quiz is more reliable uh, than even microscopic test and i will tell you a few reasons for that it means if you want to be sure uh, about your Demetrix in infestation or you want to have the uh, estimation about that and you, you want to be sure which one is more reliable, definitely the quiz, which is right now you can take, that test is more reliable. And in some cases, the, the microscopic test can be misguiding as well, may misguide you and it may be confusing. I will tell you the reason, one of the reasons which is very obvious. Number one, you know that Demodex might they avoid light, right? Number two, you know that Demodex might they are um, actually walking around the uh, area that are more uh, oil, oily skin, all right? So imagine that someone is suffer, suffering from Demodex, um, uh, suffering from uh, dry rosacea. If someone suffers from dry rosacea, that they also call it Demodex rosacea, that uh, has a high population density of the skin mites and another person maybe suffers from uh, oily uh, rosacea or acne, normal acne. So both of them have population density of mites. However, the person with the Demodex rosacea, it means dry rosacea, have m uh, several times more population density than the person with uh, that has oily rosacea or the ac maybe normal acne or pimples. Uh, 
But what happens? The person with the dry skin, with the dry rosacea, goes to a lab, for example, a, a place or the skin um, care center or somewhere that they can do the microscopic test. Because their skin is dry and they take the sample from the surface of the skin, not from the depth of your skin, your test might sh be negative. However, you suffer from high population density of demodex infest uh, infestation. That's the first. Second thing, if, if in a sunny day you want to go to do the test in a center that they do the test for you, but because you're walking under the sunshine and then you go to do the test, the, the demodex mice usually they go deeper because they want to avoid the light. So again, your test is negative, and many other reasons. Which of course it's a longer story. Uh, there are lots of uh, evidence to show and to approve that microscopic test is not as accurate as online test or quiz because quiz is based on your lifestyle, your mental health, your skincare, um, actually routine, your uh, your. Uh, diet and many other things that those facts can strengthen the result of the Demodex test that you can do it online. So I recommend you to take that test. Everyone can do it. Just simply click the link which I pinned it on the top. Or if you're watching me on other social media, you can just Google Unjex, U-N-G-E-X. Just Google Unjex, U-N-G-E-X. And if you go to any of our website, we have websites in many different languages. We have in English, French, German, Russian, Arabic. So you can find in any language which you prefer. And then you can find Demodex online test or quiz. And then within a few minutes, you can take the test and, and you can actually uh, learn about that. All right. That was a quick introductory about the um, uh, test and... Uh, uh, actually Demodex infestation because Instagram we have only five minutes probably if we want to continue I need to stop it and again run it back again because on Instagram we cannot have the live more than one hour otherwise we lose the um, video so we have around five minutes before I reset the Instagram let's go to the lovely people on the stage if anyone has any question regarding the topic just please flash your mic or you want to share something please feel free to on mic, say your name, and if you have any questions or any any comments about the topic, please go ahead. Or if you are in audience, please be sure to have a complete bio. Raise your hand, come to the stage. Meanwhile, I will also read the messages if there is anything. Yo, I can see a few messages in the chat room, but first let me see if anyone on the stage want to share. Okay, I wait for three seconds. Sorry if I'm talking so quickly because I, I want to manage the time to be sure that I can say everything which is required within this short period of time. All right, anyone on the stage? Yes, network here, go ahead, please. Yes. I wanted to ask a question, but it would be great if we, if you could answer the questions in the chat, if you still have time, is that okay? Sure, sure. What, what I can do actually, I, I, there are a few um, uh, questions in the chat room. And then probably I can reset the Instagram because I'm sure your questions uh, uh, probably will be the questions of many other people that they may also enjoy listening to your questions and uh, will be more than happy to respond uh, to you and probably useful for other people. So just give me one minute. I see if anything uh, and any question that we can have a quick answer before I reset the Instagram. Of course, we don't reset other platforms, only Instagram, because Instagram has limitation. But Clubhouse and other platforms, we can keep running. So let's see. Someone said, mention how often I should take uh, of Kate of my face skin. I didn't get it. How often I should take of Kate of my face skin. All right. The next one. So if you use these products, what happens to your bed, sheets, sofas, and chairs? Or do mice only live on a skin? That's a good question, Coco asked. And people suffering with eczema, will these products help? All right. So for Coco, thank you so much, Coco, for your good questions. I will have a quick uh, answer to your questions first. Of course, then after I reset the Instagram, we will uh, talk more about that. Uh, that's a good, very good question. So he, she mentioned, so if you use these products, what happens to your bed, sheets, sofas, and chairs? That's that's a very good question. And that's why we achieved the Best Invention Award. That's one of the reasons. Because the products we have is not only for skin, 
The product which I'm showing in front of the camera, one of them, the name is Prodemrex Treatment, PDT, is this uh, skin and surface spray. Skin and surface spray. It means that, for example, if you use a towel and the Demerex mites go to towel, again, the, uh, they can go to other parts of your skin or if you share it with someone else. So definitely you need to kill them on your pillowcases, on your towel, otherwise they come back to you. But uh, not, uh, you don't need to worry about chairs or sofas or other places too much because Demerex might cannot be alive on the personal items for more than uh, 52 hours. However, towel, um, pillowcases, those uh, personal items, a hairbrush that you use it, they can also um, you know, transfer the mites. So that's why they're contagious. So uh, they mentioned, uh, or do mites only live on skin? If you are talking about Demodex mite, Demodex mite, they live under skin. However, they can also be transferred by the via personal uh, actually uh, items. Then the other question you had uh, about eczema, yes. Eczema and many other skin complications can be related to Demodex infestation as well. So you need to take a quiz and see what is the uh, population density on your skin. It means that Demodex mite, they themselves uh, do not cause um, eczema, but they can uh, actually be harmful and they don't let you to treat it and they worsen it. So I will explain later after I reset the Instagram and uh, we'll definitely come back to Coco's good questions. She's also, I can see she's in uh, in the uh, audience as well I, I i try to invite her to the stage if she can join in all right everyone just give me um maybe one minute if anyone any of you on the stage want to share please flash your mic yes coco is also on the stage coco thank you so much for joining let me make you a moderator all right just one second i just need to reset reset uh, instagram those that right now you're watching me on instagram because we are close to become one hour i'm gonna uh, end it and again i start it again so please uh, accept my apology if i need to close the uh, instagram only then you can come back again so i end it and let me share it on instagram because you know uh, <laughs> uh, instagram has limitation of one hour only so uh, yes all right let me i click on that one i just mentioned i need to have some title otherwise it doesn't let me to save it i just mentioned first part so then later i can edit the topic so those that they want to watch the instagram they can later go to instagram uh, from the link which i pinned it in the uh, link tree all right so it's gonna be posted now shortly and then we can continue. All right, so any of the uh, lovely people on the stage want to introduce themselves or speak something, you can start. And then within 30 seconds, I'll go live again on Instagram and uh, pass the mic to a networker to have uh, uh, to listen to her questions. I think there's some uh, delay to upload that video on Instagram. It may take another half an hour. All right, so Coco, thank you so much for being here. Again, I appreciate you. All right, good news. The Instagram uploaded. So I need to click again and go live. Just one second. Be, be with me. I click right now again. Just one second. Live. Yes, it's checking connection. I think I need also to connect it to the charger. <laughs> the battery is going to finish as well on my second phone. I'm using two phones, one on Clubhouse, one on Instagram. And for other platforms, I'm using the application. The name is Restream.io. All right. Now we are live again on Instagram. Uh, and Instagram is the second video, second live video. But uh, on other platforms, we are still uh, consistently available. All right. Now let's go to Networker. Then I come back to good questions that Coco had. It. Networker, now you can just uh, ask your questions and uh, your voice will be broadcasted on 12 platforms. Mike is yours. Yes, thank you, Saeed. Uh, I've just read the questions of Coco as well, and some of the questions that Coco had, I also had, you know, because we're talking about those little, little um, small bugs that are just going everywhere. Some of the uh, questions, um, Dr. Uh, Hardy uh, also answered. 
And my question to uh, the other mods on the stage is, um, wh what do you call this kind of disease uh, that uh, some people get because of these mites in your in your skull? And if you do have it, um, if you have a suspicion that you might have it, how do you get rid of it? How do you treat them? Uh, how do you treat it to not uh, letting maybe a disease uh, further to the rest of your scalp? Some people have on some patches of the scalp, uh, not all over. Uh, is there a solution to this problem? Or, yeah. I think I, I asked more than one question now. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> no problem. More than welcome to ask as many questions as you wish, and that's why we are here. Yes, absolutely. Your questions and Coco's question are great. Let me go to Coco's question again, So, and then automatically you receive the answer to your own questions as well. So now I'm not in rush. Last time I was in rush to uh, you know, take care of the Instagram live. All right, let's re, um, ask the, uh, actually read the questions which Coco mentioned in the chat room. So she said, so if you use these products, what happens to your bed, sheets, sofas, and chairs? First answer. Remember, when we are talking about mites, there are millions of mites, different mites. We are talking about demodex mites, skin mites. Because when, for example, there are mites in the dust, they call it dust mites, bed bugs, or many other types of mites like scabies or many different uh, types of mites that they may also, you know, um, there, there are lots of uh, mites that they may affect the skin or they may cause allergy or itchiness, etc. Uh, so me, today we are talking about demodex mites, demodex folliculorum that lives under the hair follicle the root of your, your hair, and demodex brevis that lives in sebaceous glands, which Dr. Addy said as well. If we are talking about demodex mites, the personal items you need to be careful, they are like towels, pillowcases, hairbrush, or anything in touch of your skin, especially on your face. As I said, they can be alive in your towel for more than 52 hours. So, even if you wash them, you cannot kill them. Unless if you wash the towel and then expose it to the sunlight, because sunlight can kill them within a couple of hours. But by washing, you may not necessarily kill them. Or if you want to be sure, one of the products we have, which is both uh, you, to be used on the skin and personal items, as I said, is the skin and personal. Um, um, sp surface spray and uh, skin spray. So it will eliminate the mites and kill them on the surface, like on a towel, within a few minutes. Or the third one, if, if you are in a country, in a city that uh, is very cloudy and rainy, you don't have sunshine, then the recommendation is to have a couple of towels. If today you use this towel, for example, you go and take a shower and use a towel, right? So this towel can have some mites because the, the towel usually use it in the bathroom or, or you know, somewhere which has some, uh, uh, actually they're, they're warm and has some oil of your skin on the towel. It's a source of food for them. So they can feed off and they, they, they can be alive even in the towel for uh, several hours. So the solution is if you wash your towel is good but it's not enough you need to expose it to sunshine to sunlight if it's uh, sunshine if not you may have two or three towels and try if today if you use the towel for example towel number one like you can select different colors like you use a uh, white for for example today and green for tomorrow like that and then you expose it to sun light or just the dry uh, air so in this way, the wind or air will help uh, actually to eliminate the mites after one or two days. So these are the techniques that you will learn in the protocol, which we also uh, give it together with our products. And the name is Anjex Protocol. We'll teach you how you can actually um, improve your lifestyle 
to eliminate the mites and also to help to improve your skin conditions. But again, I go back to the same question. So for the beds, yes, beds, true, because the beds and sheets, can, the medics might can go there and even they can uh, transfer to other people or, you know, you can just uh, um, transfer them to your uh, partners or family members. So uh, these are the things we need to learn. Again, I repeat, the spray pro treatment can kill them in a few minutes. Uh, sunshine, sunlight can kill them within a few hours and dry air can kill them within a, a few days if they are out of your body. But when they live under the skin, no way. You cannot kill them easily. Then they mention, or do mites only live on skin? The skin mites, yes, but other mites like dust mites or bed bugs, no, they can also, they, they, are, they, are, uh, they don't need necessarily to be under your skin. However, they can cause allergy or uh, skin uh, itchiness, etc. which again, our product can kill them as well. That's a good point. It means um, the uh, pro demerex treatment not only can kill the demerex mite, but can kill all different types of uh, uh, parasites and uh, I mean all uh, different type of mites like uh, bed bugs, like, uh, like the dust mites, like scabies. They can kill them. So that's a, a answer to the first part of what Coco said. Let me see if Coco has any um, comments regarding the first part of her questions, if it's clear for her. Coco, could I respond to your, uh, to your the question, the, the first question you had? Uh, yes, very clear. So um, just to add on, so what about those antimicrobial towels that people use? Are those effective? And I do rotate my towels as well. I've been doing that for years. So definitely a good idea. Thank you. Yeah, can you repeat your question again? Sorry, just one minute. Sure. I, I, because uh, actually I signed out from Instagram. Uh, just I, I, I was not concentrating on your questions. What was that? So now on the market, they're branding a lot of towels as antimicrobial. They don't hold germs or bacteria, so you're able to just use them again and again and again. With those, are those towels really effective or no? Absolutely no, because Demodex mites they are not uh, 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 those kinds of microbes which they say they are not bacteria. They are uh, they are kind of you know mites uh, related to ticks and uh, uh, spiders, and uh, they can uh, easily go to other uh, personal items. So it means that uh, unfortunately. Uh, they are very uh, strong and resistant against uh, um, uh, actually the fabric. So it's not like that. Probably those uh, towels which you des describe, maybe they are helpful for normal microbes, but not for Demodex mites. Because Demodex mites, they are parasites, they are a kind of, you know, uh, creature with eight legs and they they can live on any surface which they can have some kind of uh, you know oil on that so if 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 you if you use a towel they can definitely go there and they can be alive at least for a couple of hours minimum depends on um, the condition you keep your towel so again the, the only solution is after you wash your towel you need to expose it to sunlight uh, 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 and also, you know, or you, you can have two or three towels. I don't say they are bad, but uh, definitely they are not the right solution for those towels. Okay, so let's, uh, is that okay, Coco? Shall I go for the next question? Yes, thank you, thank you. <laughs> You're more than welcome. And of course, Dr. Ahadi or any of you, if any time you have any comments or you want to chime in, feel free to actually uh, flash your mic. Oh, I can see a few lovely people in audience. Let me invite them to the stage. If they want to be on the stage, yes, Armita is here. Thank you so much for joining us. And Arizu also is here. Welcome to the stage, Arizu, Armin, uh, Armita. Uh, all right, let's uh, go to the second question which Coco had. Uh, but unfortunately, just one second, I don't know what happens to my Instagram. Probably there was a glitch. Anyway, maybe maybe i need to uh, fix it later anyway uh, i'm right now live on all platforms except instagram anyway uh, the second question mentioned and people suffering from eczema will these products help all right 
uh, I think I um, answered somehow. Let's uh, let's clarify some something for you. You know, demodex mites are parasites living under your skin. All right. So what they eat? They eat from the oil of your skin, dead skin, oil of your skin, and uh, nutrition and vitamins from your skin. So when the population density increases, they uh, your skin, your hair follicles uh, become undernourished, and they also affect the immunity system of your skin. So it means gradually your skin become weaker and weaker. So any kind of skin issues that we may have, uh, actually um, the weakness of our skin, the low immunity system uh, on your skin, uh, deficiency of the immunity system of the skin will uh, make the uh, space the, actually for those skin complications to uh, be expanded. So in somehow it means indirectly, Demodex mite can also uh, expedite the problems that we have on our skin. But one of the things which you said, eczema is also somehow related because when the population density of mites increases and they also uh, consume the oil of the skin, they increase their dryness. And then the other problem is the people they try to you know, they, they wash a lot. They use lots of different shampoos or other things when they have itchiness or other skin issues. And that make it worse because the shampoos and soaps, they cannot eliminate mites, but they can feed them. So that's one of the common mistakes that the people that they suffer from some kind of skin issues, they overuse the uh, detergent, they overuse the shampoos, and they are not aware by, sh by using a lot of shampoos, you cannot uh, eliminate or er eradicate the mites or help your skin conditions, but you may make it worse. So that's one of the things we try to um, educate people to lessen the amount of the shampoos and the soaps they use because that's not the right solution. So it hurts your skin and also helps mites to in, uh, uh, increase. So uh, yeah, eczema can be related. However, the main symptom which um, actually uh, based on the, all the research and scientists and the lots of, you know, um, uh, dermatologists that they studied and also the feedbacks we had since 10 years ago, uh, I can tell you uh, one of the most important one is rosacea. Rosacea, uh, seborrheic dermatitis, that they are also somehow related to eczema, you know. Sometimes these skin conditions and complications are so uh, similar that sometimes even doctors will be confused between those uh, in their uh, diagnosis. So acne is another one. Blepharitis, blepharitis and the inflammation around the eyelids. Um, uh, the hair loss sometimes also related because when the population density of mites increases in the uh, scalp, they also um, uh, can uh, be related somehow and uh, worsen the hair loss. It doesn't mean that if someone suffers from hair loss or uh, itchiness is only because of mites, no. But mites also uh, overlap. I mean, it comes on the top of the problem and worsen that. However, some of the skin issues like rosacea, especially dry rosacea, uh, seborrheic dermatitis, blepharitis, these are the things that the role of demodex mites are very important. And without eliminating them, without eradicating eradicating demodex mites, you may not get the uh, result. For example, uh, if someone has a dog and uh, the, the dog suffers from uh, different skin issues, like they call it mange, for example, and they go to the vet and they diagnose that they have high population density of mites. If the vet doesn't cure, uh, uh, doesn't treat the mites, the demodex mites on the skin of the dog, uh, they cannot cure it. So it's it's something I can say it's like a precondition. It's something that we can consider as a pretreatment as well. Then after you eliminate the mites, if the source of the problem, if the factors are other things as well, other bacteria, other infections, then you can uh, easily treat them. But this is something like a barri bar barrier. So it doesn't let you to focus on the solution because uh, they don't let the treatment, other treatment work. So that's the uh, answer to the second question. And come back to the questions with Networker had. But before that, let me see, if Coco, I could uh, express myself about uh, your questions. 
Um, yes. So one other question before you go on. What about alopecia? Is there um, any relation with these mites and alopecia? And not directly. Not directly. I know these days because of what happened after Will Smith had this lab and, you know, so many controversial things happened. Many people came us and asked us about that. Uh, alopecia is not directly related to demodex mites. However, again, as I said, most people that they suffer from different types of skin issues, they can uh, also have the, um, more demodex mites than others and they can worsen that. Let me use, um, again, the previous metaphor of the garden. For example, your garden may suffer from um, uh, some kind of disease on your garden. I'm talking about your flowers. And, uh, you know, you don't, maybe your garden uh, doesn't have enough uh, minerals, vitamins, or the soil is not good enough. But at the same time, uh, you may have the pest also in your garden. So although your the flowers may have the main problem from other factors, but the, the pest will worsen that. So it means those that they uh, have uh, alopecia, uh, the, 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 the main reason is not Demodex. However, as I said, when the population density of Demodex mites increases, because they usually affect the skins with, uh, that they are weak, you know, it's like others, other um, disease. So if a person is very strong, has a very good uh, immunity system, has a very good mental health, it has a very good diet. So this person is usually strong and resistant against many different uh, diseases. All right. So if we come back to the skin, if someone has a very healthy skin and has a good lifestyle, has no stress, no depression, has good diet, normally uh, the mites cannot um, the population density of demodex mites usually doesn't increase on the skin of such people because they, they usually increase and they, um, uh, you know, um, uh, the, the population increases and the population uh, density of mites can be problematic. They, it's when the skin uh, the immunity system is weak or someone has some kind of a skin issue. So what happens if someone suffers from alopecia, uh, the, it has a risk that the population density of mites will increase as well and may also a little bit, you know, uh, make the treatment and uh, uh, the managing the uh, alopecia a little bit complicated, but is not in the list of the main symptoms related to high population density of mites. Uh, but some other types of the uh, hair loss, like androgenic um, uh, hair loss, that's related to gene or related to, you know, um, a man type, etc. The mites have more uh, uh, actually role in such cases. So if those that are uh, suffering from androgenic hair loss uh, should consider the population density of mites and demodex infestation uh, more serious than alopecia. Uh, I'm not sure if I could respond to that or not. That's based on the um, actually the, the uh, observations and the feedbacks we had from lots of uh, clinics and dermatologists as of now. So it's not in the first category, the list of the main skin or hair issues related to high population density of mites. Is that, uh, could, I, uh, could I answer your question, Coco? Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> no problem. And let, let me tell you one more thing. Generally speaking, regardless of any kind of skin issues, totally, it's good for everyone to control the uh, population density of mites. That's why we call it, uh, we should consider the Demodex treatment in three different categories. One, which is very important, and I can say it's the first category, those that they suffer from the skin issues and skin complications related to high population density of mites, which is linked to Demodex infestation. Like I said, rosacea, especially dry rosacea, both actually oily and dry, but dry rosacea is definitely linked to high population density of mites. Uh, seborrheic dermatitis, blepharitis, acne, these are the main thing. Then we can go to some other skin issues that somehow might be related, of course, after they take the test, like hair loss, uh, hair thinning, 
uh, itchiness. These are the things somehow related, not all types of hair loss, but some of them. The second one, which is important, we call it pretreatment. Pretreatment is for someone who suffers from something which is not directly related to the medex mite. That's you said, like uh, like the alopecia or even eczema or some other skin complications. So if they eliminate the medex mites, their own treatment, the main treatment can get better results. Or some people like, they like to go to do hair implant, for example, for men or both. So they want to do the hair implant on the skull. So it's better they eliminate the mites before they do it, right? That's why we call it pretreatment. Because in this way, uh, if they do the hair implant or they do any kind of, you know, a skin or hair treatment, while they have lots of uh, demodex mites on their skull, they may again uh, cause some problem for them. Like, for example, let me use the same metaphor again. It's like you plant the uh, flowers in a garden with full of pests and bugs. So although although you think, okay, my garden is empty, so I, I don't care about the bugs. But if you plant the beautiful and expensive flowers in a, in a soil with full of bugs, again, it's not right. And the third one, which is very important and I wanted to uh, underscore, is prevention. Prevention is better than cure. It means for the people that they do not suffer from any skin issues or hair issues, still it's good to control it, to pay attention to that. For this one, I use another metaphor. It's like I, I always say that, for example, the, the kids from, from childhood, we advise them to use tooth, toothbrush, toothpaste. Why? We don't say, okay, wait when your tooth has, uh, teeth has problem, you start uh, using the uh, toothbrush and toothpaste. We started from very beginning. So same that we take care of our teeth to have a beautiful teeth. Uh, if you come back to 100 years ago, probably you could see that many people suffer from the lots of teeth issue and it was a sign of being old. But these days, many seniors, they have their own beautiful ori original organic teeth because they take care of that with toothbrush, toothpaste. And you know the dentists, they have some advice how to take care of that. So it means... From childhood, we start using the toothbrush toothpaste. So that's a phase three that controlling the demodex mites under skin can be also helpful for prevention because most people, they have some mites in some degree, but because the population density are not high, they don't see any symptom. But the population density gradually increases. So it's a relation, direct relation between age and population density of mites. So uh, when become, we become older and older, our, the immunity system of our skin become weaker, and then we'll be the host for high population density of mites. So in this way, we can say in somehow, if you eliminate the mites and control them and do the demodex treatment, it's not only good to help treating your other skin and hair issues, but also it will be helpful as prevention. All right, that was, I think, my <laughs> answer to what Coco said. And thank you so much for your excellent questions, Coco. Now, could I answer your all your questions, Coco? Yes, perfect. Thank you so much. Appreciate you it. You are more than welcome. You're more than welcome. Thank you very much, Coco, for uh, your consideration and attention. All right, I could see Slajan also flash the mic here. Yeah, and also, I wanted to ask Networker if uh, anything from her questions I missed. But let's start with Slajan. Slajan, go ahead, please. Slajan, uh, you flashed your mic. Do you have any questions? All right, I think Slajan uh, is not ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, go ahead, Slajan. I'm sorry, on under my application, I should just closed. Um, um, uh, you start actually, uh, you introduce something that is about prevention. And I suppose that it's something that is going to speak about uh, improving the skin uh, uh, quality and about the lifestyle. Uh, so I, I would like to ask you one question, because you are using the example of the garden. Uh, you know, um, in the garden, you have two different approaches. One of them is actually when you have a pest, you would like to eradicate them. You just you would like to remove them. And if, if you if you're going to apply the Ayurvedic approach, you don't want to do that. Uh, so you're going to in, uh, indeed introduce something else in order to be just harmonized. Uh, because if if this type of uh, let's say the whatever the parasite and uh, all that stuff is uh, there, and you mentioned that as as, as well in the extended environment, 
So it means that it's going to be always to be there. And also, uh, that there's another topic about, uh, about prevention because uh, it's actually just uh, related to the, uh, not the quality, but the, because the, most, most of the time, the, the skin problems is just symptomatic uh, expression of the body. And uh, so I'm, I'm going to maybe give you some leading um, uh, answers, at least from the point of view of Ayurvedic. It's about that the soil is going to be just uh, added in the in, in, in its in, in its uh, value and not actually eradicate anything. At one point, it's going to become so so able to uh, uh, able to moisture and to be uh, like so so full extent of the water that is going to be so uh, harmonic for uh, in, in this type of soil. Um, so that, that's something that I would like maybe to uh, ask you, can you relate to that? And uh, can, can you relate maybe some, some, some skin, skin uh, recommendation that you have about? And the second thing that, that, that I, would, I would like to speak after is about, uh, is, uh, about the dead talks of the whole bo body, but uh, I, I would like to just get uh, some of you answers regarding my, 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 my first uh, question. And I'll do my two. Uh, yeah, sure, sure. Thank you so much, Sludgeon, for your share and your ex um, question. Uh, definitely, before we end the room, uh, I will give you some tips about uh, how... Uh, that's why the, the topic is top 10 healthy skin tips for face, because it's win-win. Um, I mean, it's, uh, it's uh, parallel. It helps to eliminate and control the population density of mites, skin mites. And at the same time, it's also very helpful to have a beautiful and healthy skin tip, uh, skin. So that's uh, definitely, I will talk about some of them, especially when we are talking about lifestyle, which is very important and we may sometimes, you know, ignore it. But before that, let me see, because Dr. Ahadi also flashed the mic to see probably he may also have some uh, uh, mm, uh, respond to chime in. Yes, Dr. Ahadi, go ahead, please. Thank you. <clears throat> Appreciate it, dear Sid Bebehani. I heard your description. Uh, thank you for your applied, useful, wonderful, and valuable uh, talk, talking. Uh, and uh, thank you. Uh, I appreciate uh, uh, Coco and dear Coco and Network for your, their uh, important uh, questions. Uh, I, I'd like to uh, tell something about the alopecia, as you. Uh, described dear Sayed. Um, alopecia, uh, alopecia is not related to uh, microbes and uh, so uh, no parasites and no uh, other microbes uh, are not uh, related with the alopecia but, uh, but also uh, but, uh, alopecia uh, actually is a genetic disorder and also uh, sometimes this uh, several studies confirm that uh, sometimes hormone changes in uh, individuals and also uh, the diet which uh, rich with uh, fast foods can um, uh, uh, increase the um, risk of alopecia and also stress and thyroid, thyroid uh, disorders can lead to this um, uh, complication. Uh, I in uh, in my uh, uh, talking, I prefer to uh, to uh, describe about uh, the important ways of contamination. Uh, how uh, can we contaminate with um, demodex, and uh, what is the important uh, treatment methods? Uh, shortly, of course, I can. I, I would like to speak about these uh, uh, topics. Topic. Uh, the important ways and methods of um, uh, contamination with demodex is, first of all, anything is um, using um, common using of uh, personal uh, facilities, uh, including tallow, hair, hair brush, cosmetics, and so on, and the other um, uh, opportunity to uh, contaminate with uh, demodex, uh, it seems that is uh, public places, uh, for example, beauty salons, uh, country sport clubs, and so on. 
and also the weakness of immune system or defic deficiency of immune system and uh, stress is very important uh, very important factors for uh, contaminating with uh, the dense more than density of demodex and uh, finally the important other uh, opportunity to get um, um, the uh, demodex uh, infestation is obesity fatness and uh, finally i'm going to speak about the uh, methods of treatment uh, as you described dear say it uh, one important thing that we do for control uh, demodex infestation is change uh, uh, lifestyle uh, diet is important uh, uh, nourish and uh, feed organic foods, uh, vegetables, um, uh, fruits, and uh, other um, uh, uh, useful foods. Uh, also, um, enough uh, rest, enough uh, uh, sleep, uh, exercise, and decrease decreasing the stress and control the lipid and fatty of the skin. Uh, especially face skin is very important and finally uh, local treatment uh, local treatment uh, i mean uh, uh, for face um, uh, hi again we had the technical problem we'll come back again <laughs> should use uh, important uh, compounds like the um, uh, products of your uh, variable company on jigs products thank you for uh, giving me opportunity to speak thank you thank you very much dr ahadi thank you for your contribution you're absolutely right and i had a chance same time that i was listening to your valuable share i also fixed the problem i had on the instagram so again we are live on instagram as well on the top of the other uh, 11 platforms so Today we are live on 12 platforms, including Clubhouse, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and discussing about the uh, Demodex mic treatment. We talked about Demodex, and now we want to speak more about the skin tips and a few good things that uh, Dr. Adi shared, which was absolutely correct. And thank you very much for your great share, Dr. Ahadi. And uh, in response to what uh, Slajan said and uh, in compliance with what Dr. Ahadi also mentioned, we want to discuss about the solution now. So we understood that Demodex might are parasites living under the skin. We use the metaphor of the pests in the garden to help you visualize and understand. I'm just recapping and, you know, uh, 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 repeating these things for those that recently joined us uh, on Instagram and also maybe in Clubhouse. So we understood. We tried to use these metaphors to help you understand and simplify the concept. Uh, and consider it very seriously that if you suffer from any kind of skin issues, skin complications, hair issues, you should not neglect the role of the uh, uh, these nasty parasites, demodex mites. So you can probably Google and learn more about that. So I am not going to speak more, but just simply uh, these parasites, uh, as you know, the word parasite, yeah, it, the parasite that they eat from the oil of your skin, vitamins, um, minerals, and dead skin, all these things, they when the population density increases, they may cause lots of skin issues, or somehow, in, to some degree, they can be linked to most skin issues. But those skin issues, the symptoms, which uh, actually have maximum relations with the uh, Demodex infestation are rosacea, acne, blepharitis, seborrheic dermatitis, and some types of skin itch, uh, itchiness, hair loss, dandruff, etc. Now we want to know if we have high population density. Of course, first, let me re repeat and remind you that if you want to be sure about the problem and uh, about the Demodex infestation, there are two ways. One is microscopic test. The other one is quiz. 
the online test, which, uh, as I said, the Demetrix online test is more reliable, more accurate, free. You can just take the test in a couple of minutes. If you are in a Clubhouse, you can just click the link which I pinned it on the top. And the first one is Demetrix test. You can take the quiz in a few minutes. Or if you are watching me through other applications like Instagram, you can just type Ungex, U-N-G-E-X, and then find our website and you can take the test. So now we want to talk about the solution. Three things you need to consider. One, you need right weapon. <laughs> I use lots of metaphors. You need the products, right? So that's why we have a products that the products, they are anti demetrix products, they are herbal based, natural based, they've been in the market for the past 10 years without any side effects. You can find them on Amazon, eBay, Etsy, uh, on our websites, as well as depends on which country you are. In some countries, you can refer to the, uh, to, uh, the skincare centers, dermatologists we are uh, they, they are recommending our products or to pharmacies like in Australia. If you are in, in Australia and you are you want to go directly, you can go to a Jackson Court Pharmacy or Med One Clinic or lots of clinics in Melbourne, in Sydney or other states. But uh, because, you know, the products is uh, have been in the market for the past 10 years uh, is available on Amazon, eBay. It's, it's easy and you can simply Google and find it and buy it. That's okay. But now, is that enough? No. There are two more things you need to consider. One is how to use the products, which is coming with the user guide. And the, uh, the other one, which is very important, is lifestyle and uh, the protocol. We call it protocol. The part of protocol, we just help people uh, and educate them that what they need to use, what they shouldn't use, and how they can optimize and improve their lifestyle and how they can learn more about uh, controlling the Demetrix mites and at the same time improving their skin conditions. So, for example, one of the things we talked about was towel. We said the towel that you use is one of the main things that can transfer the mites to other people or to other parts of your own skin, even for yourself. So what should I do? You, do you say that you, I shouldn't use towel? The, the, there are a few options. The first and the best is totally eliminate towel from your lifestyle, if you can. So instead of towel for your face, use paper towel. Just put it in the rubbish only one time, right? So in this way, if you just go to any shopping center and buy paper towel instead of the normal towel, and anytime you want to wash your face and rinse your face, if you want to dry it with something, it's better to use a paper towel. Of course, good quality. All right. If you cannot, for whatever reason, and you still insist to use your towel, the second uh, solution is to have a couple of towels. If today I use my towel, let's use different colors or numbers, whatever you like. It's up to you. For example, you can have three or four colors of um, different towels, white, green, red, whatever. If today you use the white, as soon as you use it, just expose it to the sun light. As I said, sun light, if you are in a, in a state or city or anywhere it's just, uh, you have enough sunshine, just expose it. So you're lucky. If not, if it's cloudy, rainy, and you don't have sunshine, so you need to um, uh, increase the gap between using the towels. Or one of the things that many people can use depends on the season or which state or city or country you're living. You can just let let your skin to be dried um, uh, organically <laughs> without anything. Maybe you don't like it, but if you get used to that, that's a good habit. All right. So this is just an example that how we can uh, consider the basic things like towel is very important. It's one of the main personal item that can transfer the mites to other people or ourselves pillowcases same again do you do you mean that every day i need to wash and expose this uh, pillowcases to sunshine etc so again if you have our products the product we have pro demetrix treatment of precutin so you can spray on your towel on your uh, pillowcases on bedding whatever so it can kill them in a couple of minutes because that's a spray that can kill all these types of uh, uh, parasites, mites, even if you, for for instance, if you want to test it, if you spray the prodemic treatment on a cockroach, it can kill it within one or two minutes. That's that's a miracle, right? Although it's super healthy for skin, it's uh, 
it's very soft on the skin, but it's very hard on these types of box. <laughs> so that that's why we achieved the best invention award because the product we have is and natural based herbal based with the essential oils without any side effect on your skin but it's very serious is is the enemy of the box but if you don't want to use it and you want to have some tips from today's room as i said you just use the sunlight or uh, have a couple of towels let's read a few more tips because slogan said and i am very happy that he had such a good question so a few things that you need to learn number one the method to take shower most people they go and take shower and they don't know that how they can uh, have a right uh, showering so how to do it let's read it from the protocol i want to read it from here from the user guide i have in front of me very simple here we mention okay let's rinse thoroughly after application of course that's very important uh, all right here it's mentioned before exiting the shower let cool water run over the skin so if you want to wash your body for whatever reason you you go and take a shower we recommend to start with warm water but at the end you should uh, finish with cold water don't forget i repeat it that's very important why because the De demodex mites they love heat they love the warm and oily surface to reproduce so if you want to stop their reproduction or uh, reduce their reproduction to avoid, um, uh, you know, uh, increase their population density. So that's one of the best method. Is it helpful for your skin? The answer is yes. You know, that's that's very interesting that whatever we, we uh, included in our protocol is not only to help eliminate mites, but also will help to improve your skin condition so we need to get used to that to start with warm water because warm water can help control the oily skin or it can also help to uh, uh, actually clean the dirt from your skin but at the end you need to turn it to cold water so the cold water has lots of advantages lots of benefits for your skin if you google you can find lots of advantages just google the cold water for showering you can find lots of evidence that how cold water can help your skin uh, uh, in different uh, actually evidence and uh, research they already mentioned but probably they didn't mention that when you rinse your body with the cold water on the top of lots of advantages controlling your stress has lots that gives you more oxygen to your skin it will uh, improve your blood circulation and lots of advantages but the thing which we emphasize is that the mites, they hate cold. They love heat, but they hate cold. So in this way, you control it, for example. Or there are lots of other things. As I said before, uh, overusing shampoos, that's very harmful for your skin. Some people, when they take a test and they, 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 they know that they have high population density of mites and they suffer from demodex in this infestation, automatically they start washing their body, which is absolutely wrong. It means the shampoos you use for your skin, it can feed the mites, cannot kill them, can feed them, and they enjoy it. And also you hurt your skin. One of the metaphors I use again, I always say, if you want to wash your skin, remember your skin is like your dress. So every time you want to wash your uh, your skin with detergent, with shampoos, uh, with any any soaps, with cleansers, you are not helping your skin. You are hurting your skin. So I don't mean you shouldn't wash. You should definitely wash when it is needed. Needed means it's not just a routine habit that you wash so many times your skin and your scalp. And your face unless it's really dirty yes if it's dirty if you use a makeup if if you feel um, a bad smell you know, definitely you need to use it but some people they go uh, and they wash their face and skin maybe five times three times per day and they use the shampoos uh, a lot so overusing the shampoos soaps detergent cannot help your skin but can feed the mites so these are the things in the protocol we emphasize and let the people learn how they can control their mites. So if you increase the number of shower and washing your skin without shampoo, that's good. 
So the more you take shower, the more you control your skin without detergent, without soap, without shampoos can be okay. So these are the things in the in the protocol we mentioned. So let me read a few of them for you quickly. In in the user guide which you receive it with the products, there are some of the things which we uh, actually mentioned that, uh, and that uh, uh, we have the general tips. So for example, uh, we we mentioned stop bad habits and follow good habits. Some of the bad habits uh, we mentioned is like reducing the uh, consumption of fried and greasy food. The stress and depression, which Dr. Ahadi also mentioned. So that's why having 30 minutes laughter per day in your lifestyle can really help boost your immunity system and fight with demodex mites. Uh, um, that's why here we mentioned that uh, uh, reduce the uh, reduce any stress and pressure that may impact the immune system. Uh, and following some good habits, which I said, rinse the skin in warm water, then finish with cold water. Make, make this habit, uh, put it in your lifestyle and try to start from today. Gradually, of course, not immediately. Maybe for the first seven days or 10 days is a little bit hard, but gradually you get used to that and you enjoy, you enjoy and when you take a cold shower and then you can also control the uh, actually reproduction of the demodex mites and many other uh, tips and tricks that you need to consider it. so generally speaking we need to know that what demodex mites they like and what they dislike for example if you suffer from very dry skin because if the population density of mites increases they can also cause dryness and when your skin is very dry, it also may cause itchiness and many other skin complications. So if you have a dry skin, definitely you need a moisturizer, you need some, uh, you know, treatment, cream, something to use uh, on your skin. But remember that you may feed them. So what is the best thing to, what is the best uh, oil to use on your skin uh, that cannot feed the mites? Coconut oil. Simple. Take a note. Organic cold press unfiltered coconut oil i have a bottle here let me show in front of the camera you can see this one this coconut oil of course in clubhouse you cannot see but in uh, instagram so uh, you can find uh, organic virgin uh, unfiltered coconut oil and because because the demodex mite they hate coconut oil and coconut oil is one of the ingredients that has anti-demodex mite um, uh, actually uh, functionality uh, so it means that if you use a coconut oil on your skin you are not feeding the mites if you want to have hair conditioner instead of using the conditioner if you can use a coconut oil of course there are lots of things if you google for example you can find tea tree oil all right so tea tree oil can definitely kill the mites on the surface in the lab but the point is the uh, tea tree oil is harmful for your skin. So we need to know how to use it. Of course, in our products, there are some very tiny percentages, less than half a percent of tea tree oil. Because if you use too much tea tree oil on your skin, you will uh, destroy your skin, you damage and you hurt your skin. So that's why we need to know how to actually react. All right, that was all for me. And I think, again, we are... Uh, uh, here in Australia is 10, 15 p.m. and it's a little bit late, but I am very happy that I had a chance to chat with lovely people here on Clubhouse as well as so many lovely people. They joined us on uh, other platforms like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. Thank you so much, everyone. All right, we are going to uh, end the room within a couple of minutes, but before we end the room, if any of you on the stage have any other questions or if you want to share anything, just feel free, flash your mic, and um, yes, networker, go ahead, please. Yes, I just want to thank you and all the other moderators who have given us such valuable information. There were such a lot of questions that uh, I had, which uh, Coco had as well. Thank you, Coco, for also coming into the room and uh, Dr. Ahadi who also answered quite a lot of uh, questions that we had. So thank you, thank you, thank you for another valuable room that you uh, had for us. Back to you, Sead. 
Wow, thank you so much for your positive energy. You're a source of inspiration networker. Anytime you come to any room, I receive lots of energy for you and make me more serious in my mission. Thank you so much, networker. Thank you, Beverly. Thank you, Coco, for your wonderful questions. I always say a good question is more valuable than a good answer because a good question motivates the people to think and to find the right answer. I really appreciate you, Coco. Appreciate Armita Sludgeon. You are wonderful. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for being here, for your contribution. And David, and of course, Dr. Ahadi, thank you very much for your contribution. Thank you for being, us, being with us and for the golden nuggets you shared with us. And I want everyone, please introduce our club to your friends. Uh, and, uh, you know, those that they were on the stage and spoke more than 30 seconds, they will have the replays, the record of that under their bio, including the in our own club, Anjik's Health Hub. You can also share the link of the replays with your friends. And if you are on Instagram, I recommend you, encourage you to install the clubhouse on your phone and you can uh, next uh, join in our next uh, room. Uh, next week, hopefully next week, same time, we'll have another room or maybe in different time. So it's better to uh, join in, join uh, our club and uh, activate, I mean, touch the bell and activate the uh, notifications. Please follow all the moderators on the stage. Uh, I myself say it, Dr. Ahadi, Networker, David, Beverly, Sludgeon, Coco, Armita. Be in touch with us. If you have any questions, you can just um, back channel me, DM me. And of course, you can also message my colleague, David, who is here right now. Or if you are in Instagram or other social media, you can also leave a message and we'll definitely come back to you. Uh, all right. Thank you so much, everyone. I'll wait another few seconds to see if anyone else wants to say anything before I end the room. Um, let's see. Anyone else on the stage? All right. I think that was all. One more time. I appreciate all of you. I thank. I should thank everyone on the stage here in Clubhouse and everyone on other social media. All right, I leave the room uh, open for 10 seconds just for networking. If you want to follow me, uh, follow moderators, be in touch. And uh, after that 10 seconds, I close the room. Thank you so much one more time and see you next time on next room next week. Thank you and goodbye. All right, everyone on Instagram, I'll keep talking to you. I'm going to close the and the uh, room on uh, uh, actually Clubhouse. That was a lovely uh, room we had it. I'm going to end room right now. All right, beautiful. The room ended. All right, so that was a great room we had discussed about the Demodex mites, about the solutions we discussed, about the user guide, about the parasite. If you missed the room, you can just simply uh, go to our clubhouse and search Onjex Health Hub or just simply Onjex, U-N-G-E-X. And if you haven't installed the clubhouse, I recommend you to install the clubhouse. It's a really a amazing application for networking. So it's a, it's a good chance to use that one. Of course, if you want to actually be in touch with us and, uh, uh, you know, have questions regarding the Demodex Interstation, if you want to have a beautiful, healthy skin, uh, feel free to DM me, message us, and uh, I myself or one of our Demodex care consultants, skin care consultants, they will uh, be in touch with you. They they will definitely answer the questions you have regarding the uh, different types of uh, skin complications, which again, I show you like acne, rosacea, itching, aging skin, hair loss, hair thinning, blepharitis, seborrheic dermatitis, uh, dryness, and many different skin complications that can be linked to Demodex infestation. So please feel free to message us, uh, DM me, and uh, we'll definitely be more than happy to help you. And if you have questions regarding the products like the Procutin, which is one of our latest products, we have also uh, actually show you here, Anjex products. So any, any of our products, you have any questions, feel free to DM me. And of course, uh, we are more than happy to help all of you. Thank you so much. Please share this video with your friends and uh, be sure to uh, follow us on this um, uh, account if you are on Instagram because right now I'm 
talking to two cameras and totally with uh, 11 platforms. So please be sure to uh, follow us and uh, recommend our um, page to your friends. Thank you so much and talk to you next time. See you. Bye bye. Okay, and thank you everyone from YouTube.